Why are we here? So you'd think, why would MGB register or the MG Car Club here? Uh, but back in 1968 on the marathon, um, there was an MGB. And April 2015, a photograph or an email came into Kimber House of that, which is the finisher's plaque for the London to Sydney Marathon. We didn't know what it was to be certain of, so we spoke to our friend Bill Price, who went down to look at the uh, car and to see exactly what it was. Um, and he found this in the car park, in the scrapyard, which he confirmed was the car that Gene Denton competed the London 1968 London Sydney Marathon on. So we did a deal with the gentleman who found it in the scrapyard and with our help from our friend at British Motor Heritage transported it to their location at Whitney. We then had to decide what we're going to do with it. Um, and it was decided, yes, let's go ahead and find some history. Uh, we then discovered that it was genes, and we found all sorts of information. And this is a, a unit of a picture where Gene, with their sponsors of Nova, when the car get, getting completed, as you see, there's some few extra things that she carried in the car. There's a couple of guns in there. And I'm told by um, Sharon Smith, Pete Smith's wife, who they helped Tom Boyce build it, there were lots of little pockets in the doors and in the roof to carry paper knickers. But there we go, minor detail. Okay, so a bit later on, on the Sunday, I think it was the 24th of November, there's Jean at Crystal Palace, ready for the off. We're not certain where that, is, where that was taken. It's obviously en route on the event. For those who don't know, it was 1,000 miles a day for 10 days, 10,000 miles, so it's quite a trek. We know that that is in the Perth Raceway. So we've obviously got as far as Bombay on the boat and across to Fremantle and then to the Perth Race Trail where they started off the Australian trek. This is somewhere in the middle of Australia, we believe. That was the only place where the MGB failed. Well, it didn't fail, there was a hole in the road and it fell into it. And the engine bust its engine mounts and went forward through the radiator. Uh, Tom Boyce told us about this, who we, we found fairly recently, although he's unfortunately passed away since. And luckily there was a MG Car Club member there in his MGB, so his radiator was borrowed repaired the car, and off they went. Okay, so that's 1968, so let's bring it forward now to 2015. That's what the car was like when we found it in the scrapyard. And then three years later, after lots of restoration and support by a lot of you guys, hopefully, monetary support, we had support from Moss Europe, British Motor Heritage, many traders doing all sorts of bits and pieces for us and um, Steve at and Car Restorations who did a lot of the bodywork for us. At the Practical Classics Restoration Show we unveiled it and that's it as it is now and as you may have seen outside. So it's had a chequered career. career. Um, the car will now on Monday go into the Kimber House MG Car Club office and stay there. We've had various requests for it to go on display uh, Bewley wanted to do a feature on lady drivers. Gaydon would like to display it. The RAC club in Pall Mall would like to put it in the atrium. Um, Moss obviously would like it in their place in London. So we're, it's going to do the rounds over the next couple of years.